What's up everybody, Buddha back here again, and it is once again that time of month. It is loot crate time. And I'm a little late on this because I had the box for a week and, well, just been busy. Been doing stuff, class mainly. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, I went to, started going to Tech 901 to get my, my A plus certificate uh, for computer engineering. Uh, you know, it's an industry-wide certificate, blah, 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 blah. But you can't get real far without it. So, I finally am in a class to get that. I'm doing very well. Um, but this is the October Crate. Uh, the October Crate was a theme called Mythical? Or Mythic? Or something like that? Anyways, uh, this is this video, or the, this unboxing for Blue Crate. Uh, October 2017. <laughs> Same mythical. Uh, Alright, so uh, we're also doing this with the new camera. So I should look better. I should probably sound better. Um, but, you know, we'll do this like we normally do and just go for it. Okay, so the first little thing we got here, obviously, I put the shirt to the side. Um, we have a little Marvel figure thingy of Loki and Thor. And this was kind of ruined for me on the uh, cut it on the Loot Crate channel, but it's not bad. It's kind of a chibi figure like they've been doing in the past. So it's not a Q fig and it's not like a pop vinyl, but more like that alien figure we had was the last month or the month before. We had to put it together. This one supposedly is not as um, hard to put together. So hopefully I'll be able to do that real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cut these pieces out of the plastic bag, not out of thingies. The bodies and the heads, oh shit, I almost cut the fuck out of myself. I don't blade around. Hope I didn't cut Thor's wing off. Ha <laughs> ha! This is a big, very sharp knife, by the way. There's a six inch blade on that bitch. Bigger than my, well, never mind. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Okay, that's that. Does it lock into place? Thor doesn't want to seem to lock into place. And of course, there's no fucking instructions on this thing. Right, hang on a second. Let's see if we can put the head on Loki and figure it out. Okay, I got the head on Loki. I guess you just have to press it. But there is Loki. Not a bad sculpt for as small as he is. But, you know, whatever. I think these figures are getting cheaper and cheaper, you know what I mean? He's kind of... The pieces just kind of press on in there. to go see Thor this weekend.
George's head keeps wanting to fall off. Put that on last, I guess. I can't fucking see. Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it. He goes there. Oh wait, I think I got it. Okay. Got that. Now if I could just keep Thor's head on. Okay, here we go. So we have a little diorama we did previously. Thor and Loki fighting. And it's not bad, but it's just not one of those things I really dig, you know. I really do, used to dig the pop vinyls, and I really used to dig the, the Q figs and stuff like that. Especially that Spider-Man one from a couple months ago. But these here, I don't know, it's like they're... It's like Luke Crate's getting cheap. Which kind of pisses me off because... Spoiler alert, there's going to be a second October Loot Crate. Because I ordered the... The gaming loot crate this month, I haven't gotten it yet, but I ordered the gaming loot crate for this month because it had a, a bunch of Doom items and some Diablo items and stuff like that. It looked really cool based on the preview, but the figure could use some work. Um, now we have this other figure, which is Stranger Things, you can see that. And this is a, a diorama as well, but this one's... I don't know, this one's a whole lot bigger. Do you have blood on this? Do you have blood on this? I clean my blade. This one is a, a adult collectible. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting the, the gaming crate for this month as well. So we'll give that a shot. And how do I get this out of here? Release thyself. Come out of there. Come out of there, base statue. Statue base. There we go. Alright, throw that side. I'm put you out of there. Shit, I dropped the base. That way. Alright, so this one. How do I put this one together? Oh wait, here we go. Okay. I really love this show, Stranger Things. I have not finished the second season yet. We're about two episodes deep in it. Or no, not two episodes. Shit. Uh, four episodes deep. See, that was a whole lot easier to put together. That's cool, though. It's Well, is she supposed to go the other way? No, she's supposed to go this way. At least according to that. But I think it would be better since she, at the end of season one, she was fighting the Demogorgon like this. I think I like it better that way. Of course, you don't get to see her head, but that's not kind of the point. That's it's a show realistic, realist, realism, show realism, because she's slamming the Demogorgon all up against the chalkboard there. But that's really cool. Um, I guess she could make it go either way, to be honest. She comes in and out of these pegs pretty easy. But that's cool. I like that. That will go on my shelf. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Let's see another piece of that. We have something Buffy here. Let's see, we have a Mr. Pointy bookmark. It is a wooden Buffy bookmark. Uh. I liked Buffy. I'm not a big fan of it. It's one of those shows I watched kind of sparingly. But that's kind of cool. Uh, 
I don't do a whole lot of reading. Well, I guess you can't. Uh, it feels like it'd be too thick for a bookmark, too. It's kind of thick, you know? I'm not sure. We'll see. But that's kind of cool. Um, like I said, not a big Buffy fan. I mean, it's one of the shows where I would like, if I'm up late at night and it's on, I'll sit there and watch it if I don't want to go to sleep. But I never followed the entire uh, storyline or what have you. Um, let's see, the only thing we have left is the pin and the shirt. Pin. It's kind of cool. Looks like a, a vampire or some variety. I don't know what the digital loot is this month either. But yeah, that pin is really cool. See that? A Nosferatu dude. Oh, it's enamel painted too. I love how they keep doing these pens nowadays. Those are cool. Alright, so we have the big item now, which is a shirt, which I don't know if... I've, I wasn't ruined by it when, but until I opened the box. But we have a very 80s style retro Ghostbuster shirt here with the kind of 80s kind of squiggly poof thingies. Not poof, but squiggly lines. That's cool. It looks like it may glow in the dark. It's got that kind of hue to it in certain places, like on his face. But it looks like it may glow in the dark. Very 80s. Well, that's just kind of cool. Uh, like I said, it was kind of ruined for me when I opened the box, but it wasn't ruined for me before that. Um, I'm not sure how Ghostbusters is mythical, though. So, I don't know. Um, so the, the, the box t looks like it turns into Molnir, Thor's hammer Molnir, based on just the inscriptions, and then looks like there's a handle piece to it as well. Uh, like usual, I'm not gonna put the box together. Um, go through the book here. They're in a Star Trek mission crate at some point. Uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, it doesn't say it's going dark still. But there's a Ghostbusters shirt, and well, I guess the the, the uh, statue for of L could be both ways because it shows here in the book that she's uh, fighting it the other way as well. Um, a little Thor and Loki figure. Uh, Buffy, bookmark, uh, yeah, the box turns into Thor's hammer, uh, I guess you could use something with, the, oh, the, the digital crate is to get, let's see, Marvel Puzzle Quest, it looks like, to get Thor. So if somebody wants that code, I'll be more than willing to give it away because I don't play that game. Um, Leader Community. I want to see what the Mega Crate was this month. So I can be disappointed again. Oh, let's see. The Mega Crate was a Wolverine Blu-ray set. Looks like all the X-Men movies. Overwatch PS4 Collector's Edition. A Sony PlayStation 4. Jurassic World Legos. Predator Legendary Encounters. Looks, I think it's a deck building game. And a big ass Wolverine statue of the Mega Crate. And like I said, we normally do. We never win the Mega Crate. But that's all we got for this month. Um, as usual, I think I like the shirt more than anything out of the box. I do. I do really dig the uh, Stranger Things uh, statue. That's cool. Um, not a huge fan of the little. Thor Loki figure, partially because it's a pain in the ass to put together. It's just it doesn't quite fit right, and it's kind of annoying. Um, the bookmark, like I said, I'll probably just give that away, probably to the librarian friend I have, who likes to read a lot, and I'm pretty sure is a big Buffy fan. And if she's looking at this, and I haven't given it back to her, given it to her yet, then she's probably going to be you know, pissy at me. But she'll get over it. Um, the pin's really cool. Like I said, I like how they do the pin. That vampire pin may actually go on my my leather. If, 
because I've already got a Frankenstein. The vampire would be cool too, uh, especially since I, well, I had a Frankenstein pin on it for a while, and then I have I had a Cthulhu pin on it as well. But it's got also got my, my leather's got a great big Frankenstein patch on the back as well. Um, and I had a Hydra pin that I wanted to put on it, but I never put on it. You can see my my leather back there, but you can't see it because my hoodie's on there. Anyways, that's it for this month's loot crate. I don't know if I'm going to continue this after the end of the year. Um, I am slated to get two more, or three more crates. No, November, December. Two, two, at least two more crates for the basic loot crate. I may start doing one of the more expensive ones just to give that a shot because the basic crate's kind of been a little lackluster for me as far as I'm concerned. Um, I would rate this crate out of 10, mm, six and a half, seven maybe. Um, other than that, uh, y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you next time. I got another couple of videos to record. Um, and we'll put those up over the course of the next few days. Um, but like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want that, uh, Thor, uh, pin code for Marvel Puzzle Quest. I think that's what it said, Marvel Puzzle Quest. Um, and any of the codes, I gave away the Power Rangers code. It wasn't to the guy who originally asked for it, but another guy asked me about it when I was working the Memphis Comic Expo the other week. And uh, so he messaged me, and I gave it to him. I gave the first guy a shot. Like, I waited for him for two months before I gave it away to somebody else. So, um, But, yeah, any of the current codes or you know, digital loot, more often than not, I'm not going to use them. Because if it's for a game, it's probably for a PC game. And on my computer, my PC can't run uh, most new games. I mean, my PC is like eight years old as it is. Runs like a champ, does what I need to do, upload videos, editing, stuff like that. But it's not going to run like, you know, it's not going to run Battlegrounds. Which I really wish it would run Battlegrounds because I really want to play Battlegrounds. But also, I, I, I was one of, I'm, on the, I'm on the fence about Battlegrounds because I want to play Battlegrounds, but I don't think I'd be any good at Battlegrounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, hit me up. Uh, share, share the video. I've got like 36 or 37 subscribers and I would just like to be able to reach more people to be honest. I'm not doing this for money. I've got a job. I just do this when I can. I put up whatever kind of content I can. But if you're enjoying it, you know, let somebody else enjoy it. Um, other than that, we will see you next time.